Hi there, Elements users. Welcome to this video tutorial. I'm doing this because a uh, YouTube user named Sandy asked me very sweetly and nicely if I would do it. And uh, I have to say that I was going to do it anyways because I have a web page on layers for elements and I want this to be the, uh, the video that goes with the page. So there you go. My site, of course, is www.the-graphics-tablet.com and uh, there's videos or tutorials on Elements and Photoshop and PaintShop Pro, so pay to visit sometime. Okay, let's get started with this. What Sandy wanted to do was to intensify these brown eyes and make them look better. Okay, so we're going to do that and a bit more. So the first thing I want to do is get right in on the uh, background copy and zoom in on each eye. So I'll take my trusty zoom tool and get in there. And it's still in the bound so you can see it. Then I'm going to grab my lasso tool and I'm going to make a selection of each eye. So you come up here and around, and of course I'm using my tablet so I have a perfect, absolutely wondrous selection that's very difficult for most users to get. I'm not panning you most users, I'm just telling you you should probably be getting a tablet because it makes your digital editing project so much easier. Okay, enough of that. Now we're going to come around to this eye, I've got it set on Add to Selection, and that's you choose that up in the uh, option bar at the top or you press the space or the shift key while you're doing the selection. So I got both eyes selected now I'm going to promote them to their own layer by hitting the control of the command and the J key. There we go. Bang. Done. Uh, let's zoom out and take a look at this. Be prepared. It's kind of freaky when you turn off the other layers and all you see is two eyes. Uh, let's one more. Okay. So I'm going to turn off the other two layers. <laughs> there you go. See? Told you it was freaky. Okay, turn them back on again. Now we want to intensify this area, the brown of her eyes. They're, they're kind of washed out. So I'm going to grab the sponge tool. The sponge tool lives with the burn and the dodge tool. And what you want to have it is on saturate. If you look at the top of the screen, there's a thing called saturate. The other one is called desaturate. And certainly if you want to make color more intense, you want, don't want to desaturate it. Flow, I've got it at 45%. That's, that's probably pretty good. So now I'm just going to, I'm going to do a lot of this zooming in. Okay, get my sponge tool again after I've zoomed and just kind of come around here and you can see it's it's making it more saturated. There we go. And so actually it's the, this, this brown eye must be close to the red end because it's kind of a reddy brown which I always thought was an ugly color but you know, that's just me. And we'll come around to this one. It's a bit different because it's in shadow so it's a bit different in color and appearance. There we go. Now we're going to zoom out, take a look, see how it looks now. Okay, so there's the uh, the sponge tool layer, layer on and off. So you can see that brown is more intense now. And different eyes will have different levels of intensity. Okay, so I guess that's what Sandy wanted, but we're going to go a bit farther than that. I want to clean up the whites of the eyes because they're just, you know, there's this kind of like ready area in here and we've got to be careful that we keep this one as bright as it should be and this one just a little less bright because you don't want to have this one brilliant because it's in shadow. So we're going to add a layer to do this and the layer is going to be achieved by hitting the alt key and hitting the new layer button right here. And I'm going to drop this down to something you can't see. So I'll move it up. There. Soft light. I love soft light layers. They are so useful. Fill it with 50% gray tap OK. Now you can see I got the layer with the 50% gray thing in there. If I paint on white it gets lighter, if I paint with black it gets darker. Obviously I'm going to use the brush tool and I need white and black available. So you get white and black available in your foreground and background colors by hitting the D key. That means default. And you get white by hitting the X key or just hitting that little arrow between the two colors. Now let's zoom in on this eye. Grab the brush there we go, and I've got the tablet set for opacity, so the harder I push, the more of the effect will be uh, put on the on the print, or on the image. So I'm just going to kind of slightly go around here a little bit. And I really do want to get this uh, little red area out. And if you go too far, you have the uh, incredible option called opacity. You can change it. See how it's going there? But I can leave it at 100 because i got another eye to do yet. Okay, so let's go over the other eye, hit the space key. And now we don't want to make this one as bright as the other one, just because of the shadow, and you'd, you'd lose your image integrity if you did that. 
there. Let's see how that looks now. Alt, and it'll come out. Okay, so we've done those two. Now let's turn those... Now, here's a little trick for you. If you've got a couple layers and you want to see the effect of them at the same time, you can put them in a set. I don't even know if you can do a set and then photo in elements. Probably you can. Here's the other way of doing it. Hit, press the Alt key and tap the background copy. Everything above it will be turned off and then it'll be turned on again when you hit it again. So I'm going to move this out of the way and we're going to... Come on, get out of the way. I guess I should let go of the Alt key. Okay. That's before. That's after. I think I've got them pretty well balanced. This one could probably be a little bit whiter, but uh, uh, we don't want to make it too weird. And here I am doing it. Okay, another thing you can do is you can look at these spectral highlights. That's those little thingies in the middle of the eye where the light catches. Spectral highlights. And if they're not bright, well, you can fix that too with the same soft light layer. Huh? So, we make it smaller. Just get in here and brighten it up a bit. There we go. Not too much. And we'll do the other one as well. Come on, get over there. Time's wasting here. There we go. Okay, so now let's zoom out. Doom, doom, and off we go. Okay, so there we go. That's our after. This is our before. So they're looking better now. They're more intense. The whites are a bit better. And let's try something else. Just because we're here and enjoying ourselves so much. We're going to add a new layer on here. Just tap the new layer button. Now what I, what I want to do is put a bit of eyeliner up here. And uh, over here. And we're going to do that with the brush. Now I'm going to grab a different color. Now I have it from reliable sources that purple is a good color for eyeliner. So I will take that on their advice. Uh, make my brush bigger. There we go. And just lightly paint in a bit here. And if I go too far, I have this wondrous thing called opacity still. And I can dial it down so it's just a hint. Okay, so there's that on and off. You can see just a hint. So let's look at our before and after again. Yeah, so they're getting some life. Now one more thing I want to do. I want to go back to this layer here. This is the eye layer. I should have labeled it, but you know, that takes time. And I want to do some sharpening on the eye layer. You do sharpening in this case with the unsharp mask. And the unsharp mask lives in the enhance menu right here. And this is your unsharp mask dialog. And you can see it's just the eyes that are going to be sharpened. So I've got the amount set to 50. And I'm going to turn this down to 1. And then we're just going to kind of gradually go up and try out different things. Now you can we can turn on and off. So that's not much change when you've got the uh, the thing at 50. Whoops, preview. There we go. It's not much change. We're going to go up here to 5, see how that works. Preview on and off. Now you can see it makes it a bit brighter too. And we'll go to 10. 10 is where I ended up doing it the other 20 times I've tried to get this tutorial right. Okay, so let's let's accept that. Okay, so there's our eyes. And this is our before and after. So, she's got some eyeliner, sharpened eyes, the whites have been whitened, the browns have been intensified, spectral highlights are there, everything is good. So there you go. That's how you do it. I mean, there's a million ways of doing it in Photoshop and Photoshop Elements. This is the way I'm showing you now. There's probably other ways that we can do, but this works well, and I have a whole group of layers here. One, two, three. Okay? So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it interesting. Give it a try. You'll have fun with it. And you can play around with all these settings, do all kinds of crazy things. And uh, I appreciate the time you took to watch this. Uh, come on back and watch some more. Thanks now. Bye.